Good morning guys, Scott with MSM Adventures. Just wanted to touch base with you guys and say hi and tell you what's new and exciting coming to the channel right now. Um, we, Meadow and I, just went to Michigan and picked up our winter project since I've been in a little bit of a pandemic funk. Uh, as you can tell by not putting out a ton of videos right now, but uh, I still have been uh, riding and working in the garage and organizing and just kind of isolating a little bit as much as I can. So, um, but here it is. We went to Michigan and picked up our new trailer. It is a legend seven by 18. I'm gonna try to turn the camera around here and I'll be back with you in a second. There we go. All right, it's a legend seven by 18, which in legend, uh, Manufacturing terms, uh, they include the V-nose in that 18, so it's a 7x16 with a 2-foot V-nose, and overall length is about 20 feet. So I'm just going to do, I've got it kind of shoehorned into my backyard right now, and we're going to do a kind of a camper conversion. So it's going to be a toy hauler for kayaks and motorcycles and bicycles, and then kind of uh, be able to live in it and have kind of a minimal minimal camper build. But uh, really like the way this thing tows. It's really pretty. It's got the pewter, pewter sidewalls, RV door lock. Um, just wanted to give you kind of a quick overview of what's coming. So it's a little tight back here, so I've got the, but it's got the aluminum wheels, 14-inch uh, radial tires, got the chocks, got it all chalked up in the backyard here because it's on a little bit of a little bit of a hill um, but yeah seven by seven by 16 plus the vinos sorry there's a truck driving by it's got a metal hold back for the door and then it's got the deadbolt and regular lock on the RV style door just a just your basic RV style door pop it open take a little quick peek inside I've already got some of the stuff that I've ordered from Amazon and uh, miscellaneous e-trailer and places um, really excited I'll be doing a review of the Phoenix 4000 tongue jack uh, the electric tongue jack with memory I'm excited to get that on once I get some electrical in here I've got a couple of uh, 100 amp hour batteries ready to roll in here Anderson levelers Spare tire with the with the aluminum rim that I ordered from eTrailer. That's the exact match to what Legend uses. So ramp door, all aluminum construction, one piece aluminum roof. Um, the overall weight is just over 1,800 pounds empty. Uh, trailered really nice. Drove it about 300 miles back uh, from Michigan to Milwaukee, and uh, <clears throat> so far I really am impressed with the manufacturing uh, from Legend. Although the walls are a uh, manufactured wood, uh, supposed to be moisture resistant and uh, screwed in, which I like. Screwed in construction, so I should be able to take off the walls fairly easily to insulate behind it. Um, but it just really, the, the construction and the welds, so far everything looks really nice. Um, even the, you know, you definitely kind of get what you pay for in these things. So it's like the, I don't know if you can tell there, but like the silicone bead is just really nice. The attention to detail, you know, the screws, there's not a bunch of stripped out screws or anything like that, like you see in some of them. Uh, so I'm just really, really impressed overall. And this is the, uh, the Thunder. So it's kind of their, I guess, entry level aluminum, all aluminum, but I didn't need anything super heavy duty. It's got 3,500 pound axles. Uh, but all LED lights and stainless uh, door hardware, um, for lack of a better term, I guess. Um, but yep, all LEDs. It looks pretty cool going down the road. They, they uh, the LEDs definitely make a difference. And that's about it. I'll just back up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it. But we're excited to get going on it. Meadow's going to help me do some painting on the walls and I'm gonna insulate, build the cabinet up front and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. And if you haven't had a chance to join uh, 
join us, please uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll be back with you soon. Hope you're having a great day. Take care. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Bye.